Josh, Christian, I wanted to ask you a question, if I may. I want to know, if you're buying a ticket for a show, would you prefer that that ticket is a, a ticket that's emailed to you or is it just your name at the door? Tell me the pros and cons, put it in a table and then I, we'll send I, it off to NASA. I, I <laughs> never trust name at the door. Why? Because I feel like name at the door it's variable on the person who's at the door. Understand? Like I don't, I don't yeah. trust my name on a list ever. And do you know where that comes from? Going out to from, nightclubs, from, to nightclubs from eighteen to twenty-five, <laughs> and going, I'm on X person's list, and they go, No, you're not, mate. Oh, <laughs> you're really? on no one's list. There's something insecure about a name on the door. Yeah. yeah. To me, to me, I'll put your name on the door is fine within like 48 hours. Yeah. Yes. Because it's like, oh, it's a late thing. I'll just take your name on the door. Too much hassle otherwise. I trust that. I believe in that. Three weeks out, I'm not I'm not believing a name on the door. Oh, like, I, who's tracking that? I nah. agree. It's the it's like the verification thing with some banks. When you call up and it's like, I'll just get you to verify account. Okay, what's your full name? Okay, yep. Um what's your what's your what's your date of birth? Yep. Cool, you're in. And it's like <laughs> heaps of people know that information. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I could guess it. Christian, what one in how many chance do I have at guessing the what, correct birthday? My birthday. Oh yeah. I, I'd I'd love it if you knew my birthday and <laughs> oh, didn't have to guess. Isn't that awkward when you don't know a very good friend's birthday? No, it's not. Uh isn't it's it? Not. It I doesn't matter. Say, it's I a would, relevant holiday. I would, it's not even a holiday. No, if they care. <laughs> Should it be a holiday? Should every person's birthday be a holiday? Oh, that would be great. So you get, I, I'd say you get ten friends. You can allocate per year to get a to get a leave day for their birthday. Oh, that's a lovely idea. That's nice. I come real close because my birthday is the day before Anzac Day. So I normally I'm right I'm right in the mix. My birthday is January twenty sixth. Oh well, you do get it, dickhead. <laughs> I'm talking about my friends. They all get it as well. C- they can- do. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a wonderful turn of events. <laughs> Can I ask you, do you get excited when your birthday falls on a weekend? That's pretty exciting, isn't it? If it's a sat- Saturday or Sunday, <laughs> then you're going to get pretty excited. Well, huge news, guys. 2022, Joshua's birthday happens to fall on the closing night of the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Oh, oh wow. Josh. I'm going to get wasted. <laughs> what, what do you, what, <laughs> why, why do you get more wasted on your birthday than any other day? Um, because it's it's about me and What's me alone. It, what is the? Yeah, it's weird. It's a weird thing, it's right? Weird. It's like it's my birthday. I guess I I get drunk. Well, there's a there's an excitement to what I think I like sometimes being out on your birthday is you can tell people it's your birthday and you can tell anyone and everyone and they'll all have very varied responses to that. They do, yes. What do you do when if you're going to work and it's your birthday? Are you telling people at work it's your birthday, or how are you wanting to disseminate that information somehow? My stance on this has always been that you weave it into the conversation in a way that you go, yeah, so what are you doing later tonight? How the hell would you do that? What are you doing later tonight? I know how you do that. <laughs> That's patently <laughs> obvious. So, so I ask you, what are you doing tonight? And then hopefully you ask me, what, do I, what am I doing tonight? And I go, uh, oh, I've actually got the family around. It's my birthday. So on, everyone uh, knows it's my birthday. But what I don't like- and I pull out the cake from my pocket. <laughs> What I don't like about that, though, Christian, is that I don't like having to tell people on the date because there's the frantic energy of the people get all concerned and worried. Mm. I want to weave that in the week before, two days before, so then they know on the date you're going with an, an, a runway oh, that's already set. Oh, you want to set. give people... But, but aren't you then disappointed that you've given them notice of two weeks and then on the day no one remembers? No, I'd rather that than surprising it on the people on the day. I feel weird about that. But also the upside is birthday pocket cake as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's an inflatable birthday oh, pocket cake. Oh, wow, we. <laughs> also, I think I'm really good at hearing that it's someone's birthday on the spot and giving them enough of a reaction that they feel sated, but not enough that it's over the top. Yeah, I'm just what, trying to work out what sated means, but I get the rest of the uh, sentence. They're satisfied. Here, oh. go, here, go, here we go. What is, as a work colleague, what is the response you want on your birthday? Okay, Christian? so, oh, so uh, Josh, tell me that it's your birthday. Uh, on well, Comedy Festival, because we need to get to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, closing so April, night. Yeah, yeah. yeah Sunday, April. closing night. Um, yeah, uh, just catching up with some friends later, going out for a few drinks. It's, my, it's actually my birthday today. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, the howling wolf was Dion. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to pet wolf for my birthday. It's great. <laughs> Go again. Give me another one. Um, yeah, just catch up with the friends later. It's, it's actually my birthday today, so it's having a bit oh, of... Oh, happy birthday, man. Oh, thanks, mate. That's yeah. great. I well, didn't invite you to the... Yeah, I hope fine. you don't mind. Oh, oh, I mean, I, I would have expected an invite, but certainly not Christian. So, what are you doing? Are you- I'm having a private conversation with Christian. Well, also, this isn't my workplace either. I better go. <laughs> what do you mean you've invited the howling wolf and not me? <laughs> 
is that that to me that's a good level of excitement yeah that gets me a little bit energized but not being too over the top what i don't want is an overly apologetic oh my god that's so amazing oh what did you get i don't want too yes. much oh yeah that's hell like i hate a, that. happy birthday mate that's it don't ask me what i got ever well christian when people say hey your comedy festival show's coming up What's your... Yeah, how's it all going? Oh, I say, please buy a ticket. Yeah, please. For my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> it's my birthday on April 9th at 1pm. <laughs> and Josh's birthday. My birthday is actually April 9th at 1pm. At the, Great. At, at the Brunswick Ballroom. That's where you were delivered? Yeah, yeah. At so, Brunswick Ballroom? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Dion, when's your birthday? Uh, April 3rd. Uh, oh, it's a it. shame. But didn't that's okay, what we were doing. Mixed messaging. Did, <laughs> didn't understand what we were doing. April 9th, 1pm, Brunswick Ballroom. Get your tickets now. You can go on the Comedy Festival website. Yep. Guys, it's going to be huge. Yeah. The Brunswick Ballroom is an unbelievable it's ben- very venue. Cool space. It's so cool. And speaking of unbelievable venues, we're going to have two incredible guests as well. Special guests, comedians Michelle Laurie and Daniel Connell. Ugh. It's going to be very, very fun. An hour and a half of lovely, lovely, lovely things. Great <laughs> laugh and good company and great classic hits. It sounds like patchwork. <laughs> and, and guess what? You can have a bit of food. <laughs> I got oh, a kitchen. Oh, you can, can't you? If you get a little bit hungry, you get a little bit of food. What sort of stuff do you think they got? Wedges? Chippies. Chorizo? <laughs> Chippy. <laughs> Everyone gets a bowl of chippies on the boys. Um, get- <laughs> We've lost it. Um, yes. April 9, Comedy Fest. Get your tickets and hopefully we'll see you guys there because it is an awesome experience to hang out with people who listen to the show. Uh, so, yeah, hang out after. Have a chat. It'd be great to see you all.